Hey my YouTube lovers, welcome back to my channel. And so in today, I'm gonna to talk about my process to get approved, or the process to get approved for weight loss journey. Um, as I said before, everybody's journey is different. Um, this is just my personal journey. I have been a part of some Facebook groups and watch YouTube videos, and I realize everybody has a different step and a different journey. So I'm just gonna to talk to you guys about my personal journey um, please keep in mind that everything I'm telling you is mine and always, always follow um, the steps given to you by your doctor because, hey, everybody's steps and journey is different. So, um, I started my journey back in October 2017. I first met with my surgical team and the doctors December 22nd, 2017, right before Christmas last year. Um, and from there, it's been literally every single month, sometimes two times a month with different visits. My insurance required me to take three visits with my nutritionist and three visits with the doctors. I had to have a psychoation eval. I had to have a physical therapy eval. And I had to have a lot of blood work and tests ran. TV just started on me, y'all. Just get the mess out of me. And the TV's pops. <laughs> but, um, so it's been a long process to get to where I'm at today. By the time you guys are watching this video, I do have my surgery date. I am currently on my liquid diet. Um, but just wanted to step back a little bit and tell you about everything I went through. Um, so one of the first things I went through was going with, meeting with my nutritionist. And she was amazing. We had, the first visit was like a group visit. Uh, when she met with everyone, told us the process, told us more in general about our tool um, that we'll be receiving and how our stomach would be become and things to make the process better for you. If you start doing, stop doing some things then. For me, I like to drink sodas. I slow down on soda pops and I slow down on drinking my coffee. I completely stopped coffee now because I'm in the liquid process, of diet process. But um, it was just a lot of different steps and tips she showed us through our visits with her. Um, had to have a psychiatric eval, which I do a separate video about that. Because uh, that was a whole journey. Um, and then I had to go through a physical therapist eval. Basically, I just went to like a gym, did all these different type of exercises, whatever. And he determined that, you know, what I can do, what I can't do, and for, um, forward it on. My process was a little different because um, my insurance required me to go through all my visits back to back to back to back. Of course I'm busy today. Sorry y'all. My insurance required me to go through all my visits back to back to back to back. However, at my particular hospital, sorry, I'm turning my phone down. Um, I couldn't. I couldn't go through all the visits back to back because it was no appointments. So, I would have an appointment with this doctor, hey, in January, meet this doctor again in March. But I go meet with the physical therapy in February. But the insurance said, oh, no, we want to meet with the doctor because second to months. So, um, I finished up everything back in October. All my appointments, all my lab work, um, everything. Everything they asked me. And I was told that... Oh, you might not get approved because your insurance said that, you know, the appointments wasn't consecutive. Baby, I, baby, I started fighting. I started calling my insurance. Like, look, that's not my fault. I made every appointment possible. Um, but nothing that I could do with that point. Um, and basically, reached out to my insurance. My doctor's office was like, no, it's not fair to start this process all over again. It's been already 10 months. You want me to start it again? So it was frustrating at that point because it was like, then when we started this over again, it was like the end of October and November, I had, to, I had to make new appointments to start meeting with everyone again. But um, early December, I forget the exact date, I got the call stating that um, I was approved for surgery. That feeling that you get when you get approved for surgery is... God, it's like no other. It's like you, you, I cried like a baby. I was Christmas shopping. 
and I got the call. I'm in the store checking out, and the particular nurse who I deal with all the time in insurance, she called me and told me, Veronica, I just got back. You actually got approved. And I checked out so fast, got to my car, and I started crying because I was just told like a month earlier that, nope, you got to go through the whole process again. I had made up all of my new appointments trying to start the process over, and I got the call stating that I was approved. And I was like so freaking happy. Uh, it's It's been a long journey. And through that process of going through everything, um, there's still things I got to go through. Um, my primary care doctor and my surgery doctor is at two different locations. So I'm constantly running back to one to the other, making sure that everything is done, every red tape is done. Um, the process wasn't easy for me, you know. Um, but I'm at the point now where the date is in sight. The process of telling my family, <laughs> I'm just go throw it to this video too. It is difficult when you want to tell people, family and friends, that you decided to have a way about certain treatment. Oh, you don't need to do that. Just go to the gym. Work out more. Stop eating. You can do it naturally. You know, um, it's a lot of negative. Some people may support your journey and say, congratulations, go for it. I'm proud of you. But you do hear all those comments. You don't look that big. You don't need the surgery. Um, but I made up on my mind very, very, very early on this process, like November, before I even saw my surgical team, that whatever I go through the side is for me. And I'm like paying none of my videos but me. And this is the body I have to live in. And whatever journey I take to lose weight, I'm just happy to be healthy. I want to do something to become a healthier me. You know, whatever path I take, it's about me becoming healthy. And some people agree with it. Some had their opinions. You know what they say about opinions. Everybody got one. I was just a person who really didn't care. So if you're at the start of your process and you're kind of debating, should I do this? Should I not do this? You know, think long and hard about it. This is not, this is not a quick fix. This is not something that, okay, I'm going to hop on the table and magically poop. I'm going to be down 100 pounds. No. It's not that. This is truly a weight loss tool. This is just a tool to help you with your weight loss journey. Um, and as you go through your process, you become more educated about your tool and realizing what exactly it is. Realizing that your eating habits are going to change for life. Um, realizing that for us, a lot of it is mental. And once you break through that mental barrier, um, your weight loss is going to be amazing. Um, I have medical risk, health issues. I have high blood pressure. I have diabetes and other issues that I have going on with me, which also led to my decision and my doctor's decision to go forth um, with weight loss surgery. So, um, yeah, that was my process of my journey for weight loss. Um, I'm excited. I'm not nervous at all. I had surgeries before in the past. I'm not nervous about having surgery. I'm excited for to start this journey because it's been over a year now. And I'm just ready to move to the next step of having surgery. So I hope this video was informative. I want to just share my personal journey. Um, I may talk about later how some family and friends responded. Um, to me having surgery. I don't know. If you want me to make that video, leave a comment down below and I'll make a video how family and friends responded and how I responded to them. <laughs> so, um, leave a comment down below and I'll make that video. But I hope this video was informational. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye my loves.